Welcome folks, in this video we want to give you a brief overview of our Cherry MX key switch technology, so stay tuned. As this is our first video of this series, we would like to introduce ourselves. My name is Michael, I'm the head of Cherry MX Marketing. And I'm Fritz, PR manager and social media lead for Cherry MX. We at Cherry MX now offer a wide range of switch types to meet the evolving needs of enthusiasts and gamers. We currently have over 12 variants in our range and we are of course working on many, many more. Cherry MX has established the standard for mechanical keyboards and is the market leader in this segment. It all began in the early 80s with the MX Black. Since then, new switch designs with different stem colors have been introduced. But what's the actual story behind the different colors and the name MX, Michael? When we started the production with Cherry MX Black, we quickly had different variants and they all looked the same. To make it easier for our production team, we introduced the color codes to make it easier for them to identify the various switch types. But there's some fun fact about one of the switches, the Cherry MX Red, because the first order was from Japan, so our engineers decided to give them the red from the Japanese flag. And now I tell you why MX is called MX. Before that, we had the M8 and M9 switches, and the next is the 10th generation. Therefore, we used the Roman number system, where the 10 is written as an X in the letter and we kept the M for the series. But since then, many new models and technologies have been introduced, such as the RGB version, uh, the MX Silent, MX Speed Silver and the MX Low Profile. By the way, all of this was and is done here in Auerbach. That means development, manufacturing and quality check is always made in Germany. And now we want to give you a brief overview of all our switches. The heart of every Cherry MX switch is the Gold Cross Point technology, which ensures a long lifespan thanks to the gold coating and guarantees a precise activation. Combined with the various other improvements, for instance the sliding surface or the housing, our switches can now achieve not only a lifespan for 50 million activations guaranteed, but some models are even rated for 100 million activations, depending on the model. Among the switch variants currently produced are 12 models that differ in their switching characteristics. A distinction is made between linear and tactile variants. The latter can be differentiated further. Some switches do not just provide haptic feedback, but also actuate with an acoustic click. In addition, there are differences in the actuation force and pre-travel. Let's start with MX Brown, MX Clear and MX Gray. All three variants have a tactile activation but do not provide an acoustic feedback. But see and listen for yourself. Of the tactile switches only, MX Blue and MX Green offer an audible click.
Now let's go to the linear switches. These include MX Red and MX Black. They activate in a straight line without any noticeable feedback. The MX Silent family also belongs to this switch category. These variants reduce the top and bottom out sound to a minimum by relying on additional noise dampening. Another special variant of the linear switches is the MX Speed Silver Switch, which enables higher switching frequency thanks to the reduced pre-travel. The latest development in Cherry MX switches is the Low Profile series. These models also have a linear actuation, but are significantly thinner than the standard switches. These switches are also available in two variants, MX Low Profile Red and MX Low Profile Speed Silver. The standard MX switches are available with a black housing or with a transparent housing optimized for RGB lighting. MX switches can be installed in two different ways. One version installs on the PCB itself, eliminating the need for a frame. The other version has a frame that provides additional stability. But wait a second. I saw that there are other looking MX switches like this one here. So what's the story behind that, Michael? So that's a real beauty and a very rare version of an MX switch. All right. This was produced in the early 90s um, for a company called Nixdorf. German company, right? German company. Um, and they are very expensive at the moment. So this one is about eight euro. Wow, eight euro for a single switch, all right. Because they're so rare. So mm -hmm. if you have a keyboard with such a switch at home, do not throw it away. Harvest the switches. There really is a lot of money. This was a brief overview of the MX Switch technology. Watch out for the next videos of this series where we talk about our different switch types in detail. If you have any questions, please write them in the comments below and be sure to follow Cherry MX on social media. See you there.